Hi there, I'm Andrea Koppel, and it's time for Coffee, the podcast where you get to hear firsthand what the jobs and careers that interest you the most are really like. Hey there, Java junkies. Welcome to another K-Cup mini episode of Time for Coffee. By the way, K-Cups come in three sizes, single, double, and triple shots, or roughly one minute, five minutes, or 10 minutes in length. So if you don't have time to throw back an entire caffeinated career conversation, these K-Cup mini episodes of T4C can give you a quick caffeinated fix, whether you're on the go or you only have a few minutes to binge. So grab your mug and take a chug, because it's time for a caffeinated career triple shot K-Cup with my guest, MK El Hamasi. MK, as you heard me say at the beginning of this interview, I think in a kind of a loose way, that huge curveball you were thrown in September 2001 as part of the fallout in the United States in the wake of the 9-11 attacks was for you not dissimilar to the same kind of shocking curveball that all of us experienced all around the world with the spread of the coronavirus. And and as a caveat, by no means am I suggesting that what you experienced was on par with all those who lost their lives in the Twin Towers or the first responders who was trying to rescue all those in the Twin Towers. But as a young Muslim who had just graduated from college, simply because of your name, you were suddenly persona non grata. So what advice do you have for our young listeners who may have graduated in May 2020 or will be graduating at the in the spring of 2021 as to the lessons that you may have taken away with you from your personal professional challenge in the wake of 9-11 to help those struggling now in the wake of the coronavirus fallout. This is not the end. It may seem like it's the end. It may seem like a very bad part of your life, but tomorrow may be worse. So you got to look at things in perspective of time. So when I went to the first recession, the dot com recession is like, this is the end. It wasn't the end. Then it was 08, 09. Is this the end? Yes, it's the end. Everything, we're all, we're all going to go to, no, no it's, it's never the end. It's all time relevant. And so you got to train yourself, just block the negativity. This all passes. It's, it's very time relevant. So you got to build that perseverance inside you. You have to have that mindset. You can sit and watch as many motivational videos on YouTube as, as you want. If you're not going to do anything about it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You've got to have that mindset. That yes, this is tough. God acknowledges it's really tough and it's really weird and no one knows what the formula of success out of this is. But it's never the end. So there's definitely coming a tomorrow. Just prep yourself for that tomorrow. And and don't ask for results too soon. So what I did, I always blocked out negativity, whether it's people, the news, politics, whatever, whatever it is, whatever is negative, just block it out. And I'm not saying to you be positive in the clouds and not acknowledge what's happening. No, just be practical. Yeah, yeah, sure, it's tough. But this toughness builds resilience. So I say, if you're graduating right now, there are industries that are going to go away. But guess what? There are opportunities that are going to be built that we've never thought of. We never, ever dreamed that we can have billion-dollar meetings on Zoom. That, 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 that wasn't even an option. Like we had to meet and greet. So everything has changed. So I say, figure out what's going to last just on a human level. Are we still going to have meetings? What industries are going to still be there? And position yourself to be there. Don't bank on just a simple degree that you got and think that was your ticket out. Yeah. Now you got to pivot. Now you got to change. Maybe you got to learn a new skill. Who cares? But there are so many opportunities that are going to come out of this pandemic. If you see them as opportunities, if you're waiting for the insurance policy through your degree, yeah, you're going to have a hard time, a very hard time. What I honestly mean is this, is that if you thought your degree was an insurance policy, you're wrong. And if you think it's the end of the world, you're wrong. 
So with every recession, pandemic, whatever, there's so many opportunities created if you are willing to view them as opportunities. Position yourself to view them as an opportunity. Because otherwise, you just fail. So yeah, sure, you've worked so hard for this degree and you wanted to work for this industry. If that industry doesn't exist, who cares? Just move on. If it means that you have to get one more set of technical skills or knowledge, just go get it. But there's a gazillion opportunities that are going to come out right now. And what I mean by that is, whoever thought that we are now running billion dollar companies via Zoom? You know, when we had to be in meetings and dress in suits. So it's a different world. You should capitalize on that world because that world actually belongs to you, not to me. It's weird to me. You don't have to adjust. You just need to learn. There's a big difference between that. So I, I say be optimistic, but be a practical optimist. Acknowledge that it's hard out there. I'm not saying it's not hard. It's going to be very hard. Pivot a million times so you get it right. Block out the negativity and understand that we're still going to be here. The planet is still here. If you make it out of this safe, that's an awesome opportunity for you to be the best you can be because a lot didn't. And so if you've given that privilege or that opportunity, go for it. Love it so much. I remember, MK, I am not like you, a gifted athlete. And even if you think you were not a good soccer player, you were good enough that you made to division one. So I am more like run of the mill. Like I'm like that plow horse. Like I'm just determined and I just keep plodding away. I remember when I was 20 years old, maybe I was 20. No, no, no. I I was 20. Excuse me. I was 19 and I ran a marathon with my dad. And I remember he and I were training and As we were coming up to a hill, he said to me, Andrea, this is like life. You're running, you're doing your thing, and you suddenly it's really hard. And you've got to like dig deep to get up to the top of that hill or the top of that mountain. And then you get up there and it's like, oh, my God, this feels so good. I'm not running up and it's maybe it's flat. Maybe you have a downhill. And it's really easy, but there's going to be another hill. Absolutely. And so exactly to Muhammad's point, if you can look at this coronavirus, yes, it's there's some definite downsides, but it's a hill. You got to put your head down. You got to get to the top of it and then you're going to hit a flat or you may hit a downhill. Then it's going to be easy. But. It's going to be hard again at some point. So just adopt that mindset and you're going to be good. And Mohammed, I want to ask you a question that I try to ask all of my guests. And that is to share a time in your professional life when you really struggled. Maybe not at the beginning. You mentioned the 2008, 2009 recession, a time When you may have fallen flat on your face, but most important here is the story of resilience, of how you got through that tough time. And if there was a lesson that you learned in the process. In 2008 and 2009, that was a really, really tough recession for anyone who worked in real estate, not not just a recession. I had to go through that at a very young age. And I also had my, my daughter was diagnosed with cancer at the time. So I had foreclosures, bankruptcy notices and everything. And, and the mindset was like, what do I do? So quitting is not an option and winning is not visible. What do you actually do? You just actually truly fight. So no cliche, no YouTube motivational videos. It's like, you just need to get out of this because if you get out of this, regardless of what tomorrow is, it's definitely better than this. So I just fought through it. And that's the mindset I've had. I'm like, like, this was so dark. This was so, at a time where I was arrogant, I had a lot of money and then I lost all the money. I was so young. And then to have the daughter situation, it was like, wow. In a phone call from my wife, telling me about my daughter. I was like, lights out. And that's just life. So you can put up all the insurance policies. You can save all the money. You can do whatever you want to do. But when life decides to turn against you, 
for whatever reason it may be, you just need to train yourself. It's like, oh, this is coming. Okay, I'm ready. Let's play. And surround yourself with the right people that want to help you during those times. And train yourself, train your mindset, train yourself physically, mentally, spiritually, all that stuff for that time when it happens. So there's so many mountains. We can sit and talk about it today, just about the pandemic. Pandemic is just a flu, but the flu is killing people. You can sit and try to figure out what does that actually mean? Who cares? If you make it out of there safe, just go be big. Just go do great. At least try. Thanks for tuning in to this K-Cup mini episode of Time for Coffee. If you want to listen to our entire caffeinated career conversation, please check out the show notes for this episode. Thanks so much for listening to Time for Coffee, where the professionals in the jobs that most interest you always have time to grab coffee 24-7, no matter where you live. I have one quick favor to ask you. Remember to rate, review, and subscribe to Time for Coffee. Thanks so much.